Hey guys, Chongli here. In this video, we're gonna teach you how to do an anime lightning effect inside of Premiere Pro. We're now inside of Premiere Pro and we already did a few things here. I've actually set some markers where I actually stop moving my fingers at certain points. So I already know where to actually go to. So first thing we are going to make is a black video. So we go to our project bin here and we are gonna click the new item icon and then choose the black video here. Press OK. And here we have the new black video. Drag this onto the timeline here to our first part, our first marker here. And we're gonna move this. So we're gonna actually make the clip shorter like that. Now we are going to effect and we're going to search for the right on effect. So we can type right in the, uh, the search bar and drag the right on onto the black video. And we're going to effects here. So inside of the effects control, we're going to already do some alterations to this effect. We're going to change the hardness to 100. We're going to change the stroke length to 0.2. And we're going to change the brush spacing to 0.001. Also going to change the brush size to 10. And we're going to change the paint style to transparent. Move the timeline to the front of the black clip. And we click on to the right on over here. And we see this white dot with the crosshair appear. So this we're going to move where we want to start. So I want to start here at my finger here. And we're going to click this stopwatch to toggle on the keyframes. And we're going to now move the timeline over to the second position. So second position is here. I'm going to click on to the right on again. And now drag this over to the finger over here. Now gonna move to the third place or third position over here. Now gonna drag this again now to that position. And now move to the last marker and now drag this to the last position. And we can now play it. We can see a nice line being drawn by me. However, this is not the effect that we are going for. But still, if you want to know how to do it, now you know. We're going to also add some keyframes to the brush size. So we have like a thin line at start and then thick line in the middle and then uh, to a thin line again. So we're here at the beginning of the clip. We're going to click the stopwatch next to the brush size. So we have a keyframe over here. Now we're going to move it over slightly and press this over here to add a keyframe. Move this under the last keyframe and move the timeline slightly around the middle here. And we're going to increase this size to around 50. And now if we play this, we can see the line going from thin to thick and then to thin again. And now we're going to add some extra effects to it. We're going to affect here. We're going to type in turbulence. So T -U -R -B. And we see here turbulence displays. This we're going to add to the black video. And going back to effects control. And actually we're going to duplicate this. So control C, control V. So we have two of these. The bottom one we're going to turn off for now. And now if we play it, we see like it has like a weird swiggle effect going on. But that's not what we are wanting. We're going to change this turbulent into twist. And we're going to change the amount. And we can see like what kind of effect it will have on to the line. So if we twist here, we get like really weird things happening. So going to change the amount a little bit. We're going to actually change the complexity. But um, yeah, make sure not to go all overboard. So like this. Complexity. Like that. Maybe the size a little bit smaller. So this is a little bit you need to play around with it because uh, yeah, different image or different size of the lines it could affect on 
how big you want it to be. So I think like this. So these numbers might not be the same, getting the same effect as what you are getting. Let's see like that. And yeah, that looks fine over here. So now if we play this, we get this effect going on, which already looks quite interesting. So what we're going to change about it is we're going to add a keyframe for the evolution. So here, go to the start of a clip, going to hit the stopwatch here next to evolution and move a little bit further and change this to one X. That's like a one full rotation and then move this keyframe all the way to the end. And if we play this, we get a little bit more of like a changing effect with it. So that already looks a little bit magical and uh, also like an anime electric effect. Now we're going to turn on the second turbulent displays. So we're going to add some evolution to it. So we're here at the start of the clip again and click on to the stopwatch next to evolution and then move slightly over and we're going to make this 180 degrees. Move that over to get like a little bit more of an extra movement while we draw the effect. So now it might not look that interesting or impressive yet, but we want to, and uh, yeah, do a few things more to this. So also we're going to change the anti-alias thing from low to high on both of them. And we're going to also duplicate this. So we're going to hold down alt and move this clip up. We're going to hide the top one for now. And we're going to select the bottom one and we are going up here to blend mode and we're going to change this to screen and we're going to change this color to like a light blue or turquoise color and press OK. So the reason for this is uh, we want to make this into a glow and we're going to add an effect for this. So we're going to add a Gaussian blur. So Gaussian blur to the black video. Now go to effects control all the way to the end. We're going to add the blur over here and going to show this. So if you find the glow effect not enough, we can actually duplicate this video again. So hold down alt, drag this clip up. So it's a uh, intensifies a bit more so this was the yeah anime lightning or anime uh yeah magic effect and here's a different example how to use it without somebody drawing it's just an edit element to your clip thank you guys for watching this video if you have any suggestions for other tutorials make sure to comment those here below and if you're new to this channel and want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're always updated when i post a new video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye